Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. So as some of you already probably know, I wrote an app that lets you control the RGB on custom ROMs. So all this does is just kind of write to some files and I'll show you like, I guess I'll demonstrate it in this video. Now at the moment there's three releases. The latest one I did like some performance fixes you can read about it here and uh, this will also work on the uh, stock ROM but at the moment it doesn't really do much so I would recommend you stick with the uh, the Asus provided one if you're on stock but if you're on Havoc there is or if you're on Havoc or Omni there is there isn't really like any other option if you want to control the back RGB so yeah this this will do just grand now, you can either download their releases from here, or you can head over to the GitHub page here. Now I'll just make this a little bit bigger. Because like normally I would upload the releases to GitHub before I update the uh, XDA page, so yeah. So you can have a read through this, there's like a bunch of stuff I suppose. And just head over to the releases and then grab whichever one is the latest version. So just click on this, download it, and then uh, copy it to your phone. So, my phone, you'll see an APK that looks like this. Click on it, uh, and then you can see like the version as well so it says here to be installed 3.0 so that's how you know you download like the latest one or whatever <laughs> so that's pretty cool install that yoke and then open it and you'll need to grant the root request and so when that's open you have like your standard uh, animations here and you can s scroll down you'll see like a color wheel here and then about section so there's like the telegram uh, channel if you want, it's a nice quick link. So anyway, to turn this on you'll see like a power button here at the bottom. So that will enable the yoke and you'll see like some super user requests. And then, so solid one color would just be color at the back. So whatever the, uh, what you call, the wheel is set to, so if we set it to red. It'll be like, well, if you set it to red, like fully, <laughs> it'll be like, you know, fairly red then green and all that kind of good stuff. Like so, blue, and then really anything in between. You can drag it if you want, but like the performance is not, it's better than the release version two, but you can see like the cursor is like lagging a little bit behind. Um, I'll try and work on that, I'm not sure if I can make it like super super smooth, but anyway I'll just like show you guys here at the back while I'm dragging my finger around the place Oops Yeah, so there we go You can see changing nicely here That's pretty cool Anyway, and then there's like breathing solid one color which is Whatever color you pick from the color wheel, it's still the same thing, but just uh, breathing. Yeah, yes, yeah, so there we go. Um, there is probably a way to increase the speed, but I haven't managed to get it working yet. When I will, that'll be great. There's also blink, which is just the one color blink. And then the last thing that works with the rainbow is the thunder so that just looks like this I'll just like set a kind of brighter color so you guys can see better so it kind of like flickers a bit then another one is a uh, quick two flashes so this will be like really cool for notifications and stuff um, let's see next one is yeah I think that's it yeah yellow light this one is kind of I don't know it's weird <laughs> I don't think it's an official mode 
Oh yeah, and also like if you select one for example, then you deselect it, it'll default to turning everything off basically. So that's pretty cool, then if you try to turn this one off, you can't like... Because <laughs> it's already off if you know what I mean. So anyway, the rainbow is like this, just basically a rainbow. Uh, this is another type of rainbow. Oops. And rainbow breed. So this, this will just like breathe and change colors slowly. <laughs> and then there is Rainbow Thunder. So it will change colors as well while doing the rainbow. Then there's Quick Flashes 2 Rainbow. So basically all the stuff that works with like the color wheel for the single color, it'll work for the rainbow as well. And then Breed Rainbow. So this is kind of cool. so this one changes very slowly <laughs> but you can see it's turning green now and then here's like some strange breed rainbow I called it because it kind of breeds but then it just kind of flickers or something I don't know it's a really cool effect though so then some glitchy rainbow as well so this one kind of like flickers once in a while <laughs> I don't know this one like, could be handy for charging, I suppose. So yeah. So at the moment you can see that the app is like, fairly basic. Oh yeah, and then whenever you wanna turn off the color, so if I just go into like, normal rainbow. See, it's going, then if I just turn off the yoke, it'll just stop there, so. It's kinda like your main power button. And, uh, so yeah. Then all your preferences get saved, so. When you close the app, open it again, restart your phone, it, it'll save your color. And that kind of good stuff, you know, like a legit Android app. <laughs> so anyway, um, the future work of this app, what I want to do is enable like custom animations as well. So this can be done by just writing to colors. So basically just doing this, but like programmatically you know so if I wanted to do an animation like from red to oh shit from like red to blue and like keep going like this or whatever like I could do that programmatically definitely so I'll probably add like some extra animations here um, another thing is like if you get a notification or something I want to be able to detect that and then like run the custom animation for that I suppose and then also some other stuff like uh, battery and all that kind of stuff. And then I'll also fix this because <laughs> it's requesting um, like root permission all the time when it writes stuff. So when you change like the animation or whatever, it'll request root access. So like on normal root apps, they usually just request it once and then somehow they keep it going. <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet, but whatever so if you're if you actually get annoyed at this you can go into magisk manager go into settings and then super user notification none so now when i like change color or whatever change it to like nice orange there now there won't be any like uh notifications here from magisk <laughs> But yeah, I'll figure out how to like request super user once and then sort of keep it. I don't know how that works, but shouldn't be too bad. Like, so yeah, um, that's it, I suppose. Oh yeah, and some other boys were asking for like a widget or something, like to put on your home screen to toggle it. I'll try and figure out how to do that as well. <laughs> And then I'll also see if I can add like a quick tile here as well, so you could just like press on something, you know, to so you don't have to go into the app. So that'll be pretty cool. Another thing I want to do is like have it detect calls. So if somebody's calling you or something, like this will play a certain animation or whatever. So I'll see how 
how that goes. Um, should be possible, alright. You might have to like do some weird fucking permissions with Android, but that should be grand. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Just wanted to make a video showing you guys that it's uh, possible to use RGB on uh, custom ROMs. So hopefully the custom ROM developers can implement it properly <laughs> into the ROM instead of like the poorly written app that I made. But I suppose they're focusing on more important issues at the moment than just RGB. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and bye bye.